Good evening. Welcome to another Wizards Outlook. Uh, the preseason finale is just wrapped up, uh, you know, maybe about an hour or so ago. The Washington Wizards defeated the Detroit Pistons 99-96. Got Cardo Dudley Jr. We got Raymond Lyons, Wilson Tarpe Jr. And again, welcome to Wizards Outlook. Uh, Cardo, we'll start with you. Then, Ray, if you just want to share your initial thoughts on tonight's game. Um, I thought it was important to get a win. You know, it's been a minute. You know, they haven't won the preseason. Uh, I think their last win was the game in the bubble um, against the Celtics. But obviously, the Celtics are rested their core guys. I'm um, getting ready for the playoffs or whatnot. Um, before that, I think they lost like nine. Or eight. So technically, they really haven't beat the strong team in a while. And I thought that was your one to get the feeling back with a lot of young players comments on the team. Uh, but I thought you felt, I, I think Westbrook, they felt his impact right away, you know, controlling the pace of the grind going. Thomas Bryant had a big game tonight, you know, just giving them easy looks, get his motor going or whatnot. Um, and then, you know, first half, their defense was, you know, set the tone. And this goes back to what we said last show. All I'm focused on is their defense. They can score with the best of them when they're on their game. But defense is what what's going to separate them. If they can be a legitimate playoff team or they're going to be back in the lottery, that's in the defensive end. It's going to determine that. Um, they had 13 steals. And then uh, the ball movement offensively was just beautiful. They had 15 assists in the first half. 13 steals in the first half and 15 assists in the first half. Um, that's just great basketball on both ends, man. And uh, I can't remember the last time we've seen a Wizards team hold a team 20s in every quarter. Uh, Seemed like they were allergic. Seemed like everything, you know, scoring 30, 30 to 40 points each quarter, man. So, um, you know, it was just beautiful. It was just, just good to see, man. Uh, even when Detroit came back uh, against the guys that's trying to get in the rotation and stick on the team late in the game, uh, those guys with the Wizards fought and held on. So, overall, it, it was a great all around effort for the most part. Right. Yeah, man. I, uh, Cardell hit it on the head. Uh, it was a pretty good showing for them, um, and it was good to get one in the win column. You know, even though it's um, you know, preseason game, you know, is it, it still does something for your morale. You know, to, to see that that final scoreboard in your favor. Um, and like you said, uh, Russ's impact it was obvious from the get go. Like, I mean, I I noticed like as soon as they got the jump ball, they immediately pushed the ball, you know, into the half court with with pace. And um, and I think they got a quick basket off of it. It you know it just shows what he what he's gonna bring to that team. And also um, took some pressure off of Brad. You know they couldn't swarm him like they did last game. And um, and he looked like he had a little extra pep in his step. You know I'm I'm pretty sure his eyes lit up seeing just one guy defending him. You know with the type of scorer that he is. Um, but again their defense was um, you know the effort was was much better than the last game. Uh, they competed the whole way through. Um, you know, Detroit didn't get a lot of clean looks. They forced them to make some tough shots. They turned them over. You know, they they played tough um, it, from the starters all the way down to the, you know, to the um, to the guys trying to find their way on the team. You know, it was a great all-around effort. Uh, you know, it, it, a good way to end the preseason, you know, going in, into the regular season. Um, I think they get started on Wednesday. So, uh, you know, they got some positive momentum going into that that first game against Philly. Um, but, yeah, man, it's, it's exciting. Uh, you know, Davis, um, he came in, hit his first shot, and he – it's obvious he's he's here to shoot threes. <laughs> um, he uh, he didn't get one to go down for a little while after that. But, you know, he got good looks. Um, the offense looked good. But, uh, you know, like Cardell said, that's not a concern. It's with – the defensive end is going to make or break them. And, you know, this effort tonight reflected the effort they had against the Nets. And, you know, if they could have those type of games more often than that, then they'll be in good shape. All right. I just have to ask. It's not to be funny or mean or anything else. Was I the only one that kind of, like, was struggling, accepting what I was seeing with the Robin Lopez three-point attempts? <laughs> Try and be like his brother, man. I mean, I'm used to seeing Brooke do it. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> It took me a couple of times, and I was struggling. Like, is this like a thing of thing? Man, look. When the first one went in, I was scared. Man. I was a weird feeling. I was scared. Man, look, 
I, I was conflicted. Right? No, no, I remember him in college. Yeah, I, I remember him in college. It was like walking on glass to watch him do a post move, man. Now he, <laughs> he, uh, he, he shot that three. I was just like, all right, man, look, we, we'll let you rock. Don't, don't get crazy with it, though. Man, <laughs> he started taking like five or more. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, we lottery bound. No disrespect, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. Get under that mask and do the dirty work, dog. <laughs> uh, oh, man. But now, like you guys said, there was definitely some moments where, um, you know, the, the willingness to share the ball, some really good sequences mm-hmm. of them really passing that got the ball. Also, a couple of sequences with, with a little bit of overpassing. Um, and, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, that's not a negative thing either. Um, enjoyed the – one of the things I did I've enjoyed through the you know the first few preseason games how many different folks they have on the roster now that could go get a board and put and push it once they get the board. Mm-hmm. Um, you know that's something fun where we've seen in the past times here. You know sometimes that wasn't always the case. Um, you know obviously it'd be interesting to see who really steps up on that second unit for you know during the non Russ and non Brad minutes. Uh, that's going to be fun. You know an early part of the season see how that goes. Um, with the Pistons, you know, Josh Jackson, um, <laughs> the talent's the talent. And again, just taking advantage of the opportunity thus far. Uh, Jeremy Grant, again, continued to show off his ever improving offensive game. Um, you know, the, it, it was kind of opposite for the Pistons tonight. You know, the Wizards turned the ball over 15 times their last matchup in the first half. Tonight, I believe the, the Pistons turned it over 15 times. In the first half, and then you know, you saw them kind of get back into it. In the second half, you know, different groups were on the court, but still they kind of found their way back into it. And you know, the game was close down a stretch. Uh, Cardell, want to ask you, you know, on your side of it, hearing what the Wizards were saying post game, and then you know, I'll chime in with the Pistons. Oh, we're gonna start with Scott Brooks. Um, you just pleased with the effort, you know, finally, all around effort. I think they kind of this is. I ain't gonna say a full 48, but they put let's say a good 35, 40 minute game together where they did what they should have did on, on both ends, you know, did what they were supposed to do. Um he still hasn't came to a conclusion who was started to three. You know, obviously he he got a uh, brainstorm about that. And, and uh, I'm gonna ask y'all a question about that after um this is done before we get off. Uh you know, he, he got some tough decisions to make. Who And obviously, who determined who, who's going to be up front? I think Thomas Bryant solidified himself as a starting center. We obviously mm-hmm. know he's going to be in the backcourt. I know Rui's been out, but it's safe to say he's going to be a starter. So, who's going to be at that three spot? Or will he try to put Rui at the three spot and go big? You know what I'm saying? So, that's why he always, he's been saying throughout training camp it's going to be fluid because I think it determines uh, which team they're going to play. Like, they play uh, Philly in the opener, SMB, pretty big. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's wise to kind of go small. You know what I'm saying? You might need some size. In there. You know, you might need to start Brooke. I mean, not Brooke or Rodman, you know, to deal with him. But right now, I know Thomas deserves to start the way he's been playing. He's probably been the most consistent player. Um, you know, um, he's not shocked about what Russ did. He said that's what Russ does. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the impact. And you felt it from the opening tip, just the pace and how he controlled it. And a lot of people don't understand controlling the pace also helps your defense and that's mm-hmm. something that got away from them the last game you know what i mean if you can't control the pace those guys on the run they just gonna run you out the gym whereas they make two or three bad things in the road with russ he's slowing that thing up you know what i'm saying and not controlling them and, not, and getting guys good shots so you can score and it kind of uh kills their momentum or keeps you at or keeps your arms left to, to sustain and battle with their run. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't understand all that ties together, but you got to be a veteran and have the skill set and IQ to know when and how to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I saw a last game. You know what I'm saying? So um, they got to clean that up. But uh, Russ, he came in you know, right after Brooks. Uh, he said, that's his job. You know, they talked about Thomas Bryant at the beginning. He said, that's my job to get these guys in. Um, both Brooks and um, Russ are higher than Denny. Um, they say he'll be a real good player in the league. Uh, you know, he, he just had to figure some things out. The game has to slow down for him. He's going to have tough stretches, as all rookies do. But he said it's our, it's our job to help him get through those tough stretches. So, you know, um, 
he can all so he can be productive as much as possible, you know, for his rookie year. Um, so that's what they're focused on, man. Now they're moving forward and ready for the open, man. It's just uh, just being consistent. That's the tone I got from both of those guys. All right. Uh, from the visiting team side, side of it, Coach Casey made it clear, don't take anything, don't read into anything about the rotations that you saw for the Detroit Pistons. He was essentially saying, man, we're just trying to throw different guys out there, try to get different looks. You know, as we've all mentioned before, it's a condensed preseason. You know, because a couple of folks were asking about the rotation. He's just like, look, like it. He, he pretty much at one point he was just like, if you figured it out, that meant y'all figured it out before I did. He was trying to put stuff <laughs> together right now. And people were playing time, like so about late in the game, bringing Killian and Jeremy back in. Um, that was just an example of that. You know, again, he was just preaching about what they're going to be as a team. Um, defense first. Uh, Killian echoed that as his. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce his name, Svi. Uh, he already – he also echoed that. And that's all Detroit's really focused on is the defensive end of the floor. And they know they have to cut out the turnovers. Um, you know, they, they talk about the stark difference between what they are as a team when they take care of the ball. And we saw in the first half of this game what they look like when they don't take care of the ball. Um, so that's really a big thing there. And the last thing from uh, Coach Casey, just on Josh, Josh has really played well on both ends of the floor talented young man. He just needed an opportunity. He's going to be a big plus for us this year. All right. Cardell, I think you you, uh, you said you had a question, though, you wanted to ask? Yeah, I got a couple of tough questions I want to ask the panel. Um, <laughs> who should be the opening night starters um, against the Sixers? I want to get y'all thoughts. We start with you, Ryan. Uh, Where's his rapper fan? <laughs> what about this say this is a Tuesday man. I know, right? Um, man, I, I, I think he made a solid point about um needing some size going up against Philly. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, based on his availability if we saw um, you know, Lopez, uh Rui and um and Thomas Bryant, along with um of course uh Brad and Russ. Um but on a more consistent basis at that three spot, man, it's it's tough. Uh Man, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked if we saw Denny get get that slot. Um, you know, he's obviously very talented. Um, you know, he is a rookie, but uh, but I mean, if he if he's playing the best and he's the the most talented person there, then why not throw him out there? I mean, he's going to have to learn and adjust at some point. Um, you know, he's competing on the on the defensive end, which they sorely need. Um, in the offensive part, uh, I don't think anybody was really worried about that coming into it. Like you said, he just needs to uh, figure some things out and um and learn and learn the NBA. So, you know, I, I really wouldn't be surprised to see him get the the bulk of the starts right there. All right, Wilson. Uh yeah, uh, backcourt already penciled in. Um <laughs> Bertan's gotta play because you're paying him a bag. So he's gonna be in here at the four. Uh I think T B stays at the five. Um, it's just a matter, I guess, depending on who they're going against, how quickly he comes in the game. Um, and then I guess I'm, man, I'm probably I'm probably gonna go. I think Denny's the best person for the three right now. Um, so yeah, I'll go Denny. Who'd you have, though, Cardo? Um, uh, quiet, quiet as kept. Troy Brown's played well in the preseason. Mm -hmm. um, I think I thought I think he's been right behind Troy, the most consistent. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Brooks Storm out there the open night just to see what he does with uh, Rui and uh, Thomas, just to have some versatility on the three. I think eventually Denny will. Kind of rough his way into it. Not saying he had replaced Troy, but I think it's fluid, like he said. Um, I think him being a rookie right now, I don't think he would throw him in the fire quite just, just like, you know, similar to a lot of rookies that came on from like, like Penny Hardaway didn't start when he first got to um, Scott Scowls was the starter with the Magic, just for example. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Penny came off the bench and then eventually, you know, even Scott Scowls knew I was grooming him for that. But I think he he kind of feels like Troy been here for a few years. He paid his dues. Going wow. Back and forth with the G 
give you opportunity to start and, and see if you want to. But the one thing you saw throughout training camp, especially this game and, you know, the last game, guys are starting to feel the rotation spots kind of get locked up. And mm-hmm. men, it's going to be scarce. And if you ain't improving during training camp, which is how it should be, should be fair. That's all any hooper asks for. Just, just give me a fair shot. And if I perform, give me what I earn. If I don't perform, I, and you know what I'm saying, that's all it is. So um, I think he's performed. I think he earned it. You know, he's, he's paid his dues, you know, the last couple of years. Never complained. Never did no dumb stuff. You know, he just worked. So I think he he should get the shot of being the starter for right now. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, we'll see what happens, man. All right. And uh, last one. That's oh, one. Okay. Last one. Yeah, one more. He should be the backup point guard. Uh, it's your Raul. Oh, boy. It's your uh, Raul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this one. I'll go. And I don't know how popular it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> Raul Neto should be the backup point guard. Yeah. Okay. Raul Neto. Yep. That's where I'm at with it. Yep. <laughs> Man, I, I, I can't, I can't argue with that. Um, I mean, he's he's been making sound decisions. You know, he's he's been playing well. Like, he's, I mean, you know, we we know what uh, he's just capable of. You know, he's a nice scoring punch to come in and um, you know, be like instant offense. But I mean, if if we're going by by preseason, you know, Neto is he's proved he's capable. Like. Cooper. Yeah, man, it's – I mean, I know uh, some people might get caught up because, you know, he's just fast and athletic and he can score and all that. But, I mean, that old, he runs he runs the team when he's in there. <laughs> Cardell. <laughs> Look, I wish y'all uh, – I'm with both of y'all, man. Look, I, I, I'm a results dude. I don't care nothing about all the feelings. Look, man, give you fair shot. Show me what you got. After that, we got to make tough decisions, man. Look, look how tough it is, man. We we on the media side of it. Think about how tough it is for Brooks and Tommy and those guys. You know what I'm saying? And shout out Tommy, man. I'm giving him credit, man. Like he he brought some 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 dogs in here. Like people mm-hmm. when they signed RO, they was people was laughing. I saw the comments on IG and Twitter. People literally laughing in our comments, like what? I might as well go try out. Like, you know, you know how dudes are around. I ain't got that. So, but the boy can hoop. Like, he ain't no joke. He can hoop. And I know you say Ish can score. He can score. Three, all yeah, three levels, man. man. He's strapped. He can run a team. He quick. I'm like, look, man. Yeah. And he a pro. Like, he he just come to work. He don't it. I mean, look, it is what it is, man. <laughs> like, you got to get a guy to nah, man, right now. I mean, I know that wasn't expected, but – He's played better in the preseason. I know it's preseason, but that's what you have these games for to kind of sort all that out. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And his productive results have been better. So, we're with y'all, man. He should back up. Yeah, I just think that, like, like the, the thing that made it easy for me is just a steady hand. It's a steady hand. It's another steadying hand. I don't think uh, you can ever have too many of those on a roster, regardless of what position it comes at. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of a kind of a big thing. All right, uh, you guys had anything else to add? You know, there's a few days, uh, you know, off in terms of between the next Wizards game, the next one will actually count. It will be a regular season game, and they open against uh, you know <laughs> one of the better teams in the East. So, you know, it's those, those, like literally we get opening night. If you don't show up in that one, it can get ugly very, very quickly. So. Yeah, know, man, uh, we, the trade rumors is going on with that thing. So it's going to be some motivated people. Like, I ain't okay. trying to leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't trying to move. <laughs> I ain't, I got my career. I'm trying to stay. And B going to be trying to eat, man, because that pressure. I don't remember player in the league, you know. <laughs> you gonna see. Go, are you about to say something, Ray? No, nah, I was just asking if Cardell got frozen. Uh, but yeah, that's that's gonna nah, be that's I was like uh, I was gonna say like uh we're gonna see a lot of people not trying to get moved. And you know, and B gonna be on one, you know, he he always mm-hmm. like he feel like 
He's the most unstoppable player in the league. So we're going to see. You know, it's going to be fun. And Thomas Brown has his, his work cut off on him. So, um, hey, let, it, it gets real now. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah shout out, uh, like you guys said, shout out to TB too. The work uh, that he's put in, you know, just just the uh, the trail threes. Uh, there's no more hesitation mm-hmm. in the yeah. Like, you're almost to the point now, you know, when they swing it to him. And, and yeah. you know, at one point, it's kind of like he would think, man, that thing's just locked and loaded. There's no gate. We already know what it is. And we're almost to the place when we almost we're all we're getting to the point where we're closely expecting the desired result once it gets swung to him as that trail three, too. So shout out to him for the work that he's put in. Um, and then you know, uh see a little improvement on defense, but you know, we're gonna see what happens when the, the opening opening night curtain, you know, like you said, Cardell, he get Embiid <laughs> to start the year. So <laughs> we're gonna see very quickly. Oh, just live out there. And speaking of Embiid, just don't live out there like sometimes Embiid yeah. do when he be getting himself in trouble, falling in love with the three. Mm-hmm. It's like, dog, they rob you on the block, man. We're like, what are you doing, man? You know I mean, <laughs> like, that's my only thing with these guys shooting threes. I don't mind it here and there to keep the defense honest and stuff. And if you oh, hide, yeah, yeah. definitely keep going. Don't, don't, dog. We don't need you to be Steph, dog. You know what I mean, no, no, no. it's only one <laughs> seven footer that can shoot like Steph, and he's in Brooklyn. That's it. <laughs> now you're right though like that's the thing that t- the team just as much as those trail threes are great man crashing offensive glass is even more important for this group running mm-hmm. the floor with this group is that much more important you know setting screens right. diving, all those things you know I'll, I'll trade I'll trade you going 10 for 10 on those types of activities over one for three from three you know you, you team <laughs> so um you know, uh, we look forward to it. You know, I know everybody's excited. Opening night for the league is on Tuesday, then Wednesday for the Wizards, and we will see you guys. We'll see you guys on Tuesday in some shape, form, or fashion. We'll definitely see you guys on Wednesday for Wizards Outlook. Y'all have a good one, and uh, good night. <laughs>